Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Barnes here. Lovely to see you. How are you doing? Um, and uh, I am so over the moon to be joined by Mike Stelsner, um, author of recent book, Launch, um, but also probably better known to all of us guys, because I'm talking about it all the time, as the founder of the Social Media Examiner site, socialmediaexaminer.com. Mike, how are you doing? Thanks so much for joining us. Joe, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. So where are you based right now, Mike? Where, where am I San, calling you from? San Diego, California. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Somewhere I'd really like to visit, and I haven't managed to visit that yet. Well, okay. I been to where you are <laughs> Sorry? I have not been to where you are either, so that no. sounds like a good place P to visit too. Phuket in Thailand. It's lovely. It's gorgeous here. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, Mike... Um, can I just ask, can we just start with a little bit about you, a bit about your background? I know you launched the Social Media Examiner in 2009, was it? Yes. Yeah. So prior to that, can you just tell us a bit about kind of what's, what's got you to where you are today? I was working in corporate America as a um, marketing guy, and um, I was wrongfully terminated because the boss was doing something that he thought I saw him do, but I didn't even know. <laughs> Long story short, he was the president of the company and he decided to can me and um, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I went out on my own in, in the mid-1990s and started a creative services agency and then after that, I started uh, when the tech market crashed. Uh, I was servicing high tech. After that, I decided to be a writer and I was um, writing white papers for big corporations like FedEx and Hewlett Packard and Microsoft and Motorola and all these really big companies. And then I got kind of bored of that, um, and I decided to try getting my finger wet in this hot new space called social media. And I didn't know squat. <laughs> right. So um, I literally, before I launched Social Media Examiner, had maybe nine months of experience with social media. So um, I, I, I barely had a Twitter or, and Facebook account, and um, you know, as you know now, Social Media Examiner is huge and. We have 450,000 people a month that uh, come to Social Media Examiner and read our stuff. And, and uh, you know, it's been a crazy roller coaster ride. That's amazing. <laughs> so what, what was it that made you decide to launch Social Media Examiner? Well, um, it, before Social Media Examiner, I was writing these white papers. And I um, was kind of coined the king of white papers. And Marketing Sherpa called me the grandfather of white papers, even though my kid was only three years old. And um, I kind of built a huge following, and uh, I like to say I graduated magna cum laude from the School of Hard Knocks. So from a lot of trial and error, I kind of figured out what works in marketing. And I thought to myself, well, what if I can go into space that's much broader than white papers? White papers are business to business and big business, really. And uh, social media, I thought, targeted all businesses of the world, all sizes, consumer-focused or business-focused. What if I could go into that world and quickly become one of the princes of social media? How cool would that be? Maybe I could write a book um, and maybe I could, you know, do it twice. You know, what I mean by that is become kind of a really big name in two totally different industries extremely quickly. So it was an experiment. And um, it took off like a rocket ship. And um, here we are. An experiment that really paid off. Absolutely. Yeah. So can I just talk to you about that? Because I um, talk to a lot of my guys about um, when, they're, when they're thinking about launching a business um, and whatever niche they, they choose, I talk a lot about being seen as an authority within that niche um, and yes. really making a choice whether you want to become a public figure um, and become an authority as a public figure. Um, there's a lot of people who you know, are a bit shyer. They don't really want to sort of put themselves right out there. Um, and mm -hmm. something that I always use as a great example, which is the social media examiner, is how to become an authority site as opposed to a public figure. So, you know, obviously my, we know who Michael Stelzner is and now you've written your book and all the rest of it, but the social media examiner, it, it was a long time before I knew who you were. It was your site I knew lots about. So, yeah, that's a, yeah, let me just share a little side thing here. When I was the white paper guy, it was all about Mike Stelzner and it was all about me and everybody wanted only me. And there was limits to how much of me could go around. And I hit a glass ceiling where I just couldn't um, do it anymore because everybody and their mother only wanted to work with me even though I had other people on my team yeah. that were writers. So, And I had all that fame stuff and it was cool. And, and I decided when I launched Social Media Examiner to put 
other people first instead of me. It was a very different business model. Um, the only people that really know that I am social media examiner are the people that get the daily emails in their inbox or the people that might see me on camera you know, when I do all these video interviews. But instead, I decided to create a movement. And it's a lot easier for people to join a movement, meaning my peers, than it is for people to join the Mike Stelzner fill in the blank. And I think that was part of the key to my success was creating something that shined the light on other people first and put me in the backdrop. That allowed me to recruit and work with really key strategic alliance partners like Marty Smith, who your audience is familiar with, yeah. Jason Falls from Social Media Explorer, Denise Wakeman from the Blog Squad, and Chris Garrett, who is the co-author of Pro Blogger with Darren Rouse. Um, I developed a relationship with, the, with these folks early, and together we created something really cool. Social Media Examiner was always owned by Mike Stelzner, but they became part of the movement. And that's part of the reason why we grew as quick as we could because we created a brand instead of creating um, a personality. And I think that has long-term ramifications that are very important for businesses because um, I don't work the crazy 60, 70 hours a week that I used to work with my white paper business. I'm working 40 hours a week, maybe 50. Um, if I ever want to sell this business, I can because it's not tied to me and um, – and, it, and, and it's, it's made it a lot easier to grow because it's, it, it, it's people stand behind the brand instead of just a person. And that makes it really kind of different and fun. And, and I write about it quite a bit in my book about how much easier it is to grow a business when it's really not just about you. That, that's an amazing piece of advice. Thanks for that, Mike. That's a bit of gold there, I think. But so, so, so it was a real sort of collaborative effort then, getting Social Media Examiner you know, off the ground and growing as much as it has now. It still is a collaborative effort. What's great is none of our writers get paid. Um, we have more than 60 writers that write for us regularly, and they do it because there's something in it for them, yeah. and it's exposure. You know what I mean? They want In the beginning, it was we want to be part of this cool thing that, um, that um, this guy, Mike Stelzner, who has a good track record, is part of. But over time, it was we want to be part of this big thing because it's the biggest thing there is right now. You know what I mean? Like Social Media Examiner is the biggest online publication just for social media marketing in the yeah. world. And wow. that makes it very easy for people to want to be part of it. And we get 25 inquiries a week from people that want to write for us. Isn't wow. that a, and we don't have to pay any of them. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and we've been a multi-million dollar business, um, you know, as a result of building an audience and then um, on top of that business. Fantastic. So going back to the fact that you were talking about that you, were built, you built these relationships early, um, that's yes. a key thing, isn't it? Especially with social media, this whole thing about building relationships. Um, and is, is there any advice that you can give to, to people out there just starting out about how to go about maybe approaching people and starting? I mean, did you have kind of like a really clear vision of exactly how Social Media Examiner was going to pan out and therefore the kind of relationships you needed to build at the beginning? Or was it sort I of did. more of an organic? I did. I did, but I'm not normal. You know what I mean? So I'm a long-term strategic thinker. Okay. Um, but here's the thing, to the tips. Um, I think what you need to do in the beginning, if you're going to try to build you know, a publishing site like Social Media Examiner, an online magazine, if you will, that's got a bunch of players, um, you've got to figure out what the, who the players are and what they want. And then you have to start giving them what they want. So, for example, let's say in your industry there's six or seven people that are kind of the big names in your industry. Um, maybe what you could do is just start, if you already have a blog, let's say, um, like I already have the white paper source side of the business, I started interviewing these people and giving them press to my existing audience. I started reviewing their books. I started getting on camera with them at trade shows, kind of like you and I are doing, but in person, yeah. um, and beginning to let them experience some of the love. And I never asked anything from them. So the idea is really to, um, a lot of people want, you know, basic things. They want recognition, for example. That's one of the first things everybody wants. So if you can maybe start writing book reviews unsolicited for these people, and um, I guarantee you if they got a brand new book out, they're going to notice it because book, publisher, book authors want that stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe offer to do interviews with them and maybe ask them insightful questions and promote the heck out of it and don't ask for anything in return. Don't say, would you tweet this? Don't say, would you do this? Because then it's an exchange. Yeah. Instead, give it as a gift. If you start giving gifts to people, you will stand out. 
like for example, um, Seth Godin, who is big in the world of marketing, or Guy Kawasaki, who's also um, the former Apple fellow, um, the Apple evangelist. Both these people were people that I developed relationships with. In the case of Seth, I emailed him and I said, Seth, um, can I help you? And we've done some email correspondence in, in the past. And he said, as a matter of fact, you, could, you can. I said, how can I help you? And he said, so-and-so will be in touch. So this gal, and by the way, I said, how can I help you? And by the way, our site has got a big small business audience in case you need any love from us or whatever. And then he said, so-and-so will be in touch. This gal reached out to me and she says, he's got a brand new book coming out called Lynchpin. Um, and I said, well, how about I interview Seth and write a really kind of cool review, you know, I mean, uh, do a great interview of him for his launch, and we do it the day that his book comes out. He loved it, you know, and then later on down the road, I kind of developed a good relationship with Seth. Yeah. So that's kind of how you do it. You just give people great value, but you figure out a way to make content out of it. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, what your audience wants is great content. So, for example, if there's a big event, maybe you um, go to the event and write a review on the event, and maybe the event coordinators might see it, and maybe down the road it could lead to you speaking at the event. You see, it's really all about planting lots of seeds. Yeah. So in fact, my book was going to be called Seed Marketing, but Wiley rejected the title because it's all about planting lots of seeds. Some will germinate and grow, and others won't. But the idea is if you're planting enough of them, something positive will come, and you can begin those relationships. And just one quick caveat. When we started Social Media Examiner, I took a camera crew with me to a major trade show called Blog World, and I did like 15 interviews with people like um, Chris Brogan and Mari Smith and um, Steve Rebell and Richard Chalihandra, who was the CEO of Technorati. And these interviews we ended up releasing over time on our site. And the authors loved it. They tweeted about it. It made them look good. And it started building relationships with all these people that today I have very strong relationships with. Mike, I love what you're saying. It's it's just brilliant stuff. We talk about on, on the social network we talk loads about giving value. You know, if you if you adopt that mindset of just going out and giving loads and loads right. of value first, then everything else will follow. You know, whether it's relationships, whether it's the growth of your business, whether it's revenue, everything else will follow if you go out and give value first. So thanks for that, that's brilliant. But it leads us also very nicely to your book. Can you tell us a little bit about your book, Launch? Yeah, the subtitle is called How to Quickly Propel Your Business Beyond the Competition. And um, the premise of the book is this thing I call the elevation principle. If you think of your business like a rocket ship, um, as a matter of fact, I've got a little sample right here. Your job is to navigate this thing into new frontiers. And um, the formula for the elevation principle is great content plus other people minus marketing messages equal growth. So great content is the core of everything we do at Social Media Examiner. It's the um, how-to articles that are really in-depth. It's the case studies of successful businesses and how they did it, that kind of stuff. Everybody loves that kind of stuff. The other people component is about identifying those experts that we've been talking about during this interview and tapping their minds and sharing what's in their brain with your audience, which is great content but more importantly, can lead to strategic alliances. And then the minus marketing messages, nobody likes marketing messages, so just can the marketing messages. When you, when you mix all three of those together, you can grow extremely fast, which is exactly what we did at Social Media Examiner. And the book talks about you know, how to identify the experts, how to create the content, how to market without you know, marketing, so to speak. Fantastic. So when you say can the marketing messages... I mean, I do notice, obviously, on the social media examiner, there are really... I mean, the only thing you ever really advertise massively is the Facebook summits every year. Is that... I mean, how, how, how do you monetize the social media examiner? So um, we do three summits a year, one on Facebook, one on social media, and one on um, small business now. And um, we only advertise those events, and that's only about 50% of the time. So... Um, in the rest of the time, we have no advertising on the site at all, and we have a policy that prohibits any advertising on socialmediaexaminer.com. This is part of the reason why our stuff gets shared so popular on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter, which brings all these people in. How we make our money is a subsegment of our audience decides to subscribe to our daily email newsletters. A lot of it goes like this: Your content is so good, I want to sign up to get more of it. Yeah. And. 
we have about 117,000 people that are on that list, and every day they get an email that's about a 70 word article, and then they link to, to you know, read the article. Um, once we've grown that list, that allows us to promote our summits to that list of 117,000 people, and that's how we're making our money, selling our events to the captive audience of email subscribers. Yeah, yeah. And then we do sell some little ads in those email newsletter lists, but they're positioned so that they don't even look like ads. They're like, our advertisers are advertising free webinars, free eBooks, so it comes across as free content. Yeah, yeah. But 85% of our revenue comes from our events, 15% comes from our newsletter, but it's all done in a way that doesn't appear to be advertising at all. Clever, very clever. So sorry, I, I wandered off then slightly, but just, just going back to the book, the launch is available right now, correct? And people can find out more information at um, theelevationprinciple.com or just elevationprinciple.com? Elevationprinciple.com, we have the first chapter of the book. And a little secret, um, I wrote the whole book in the first chapter, and it's free. So I practice what I preach. You can actually read the entire first chapter of the book, never get the book, and um, and learn an enormous amount from just the first chapter of the book. And that was a little secret thing I did with Wiley, and they were okay with it. It's a very long chapter. But, um, but yeah, um, if you go to Amazon, you can get the book, but you're not going to get the free chapter of the book unless you go to Elevation Principle. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been fun. Um, you know, I, I, I had to write the book to rebrand myself because I was known as the white paper guy. Right. And now I want to be known as not the white paper guy anymore. So that's the reason I wrote the book. Um, there's not a lot of money in books. It was, it was, it was a labor of love. Yeah. <laughs> and it, is it working? Are you finding that you're rebranding yourself? Are you, you know, is Absolutely. It, yeah. Absolutely. I've been keynoting all these big events, and um, I keynoted Blog World, and I was you know, speaking at the International Spa Association and all these other things. So it's definitely, it's definitely rebranded me, which is important. Um, but you know, the take-home message, you don't have to write a book, is the take-home message to, to be successful. All you got to do is write great content on your blog, and frankly, you don't have to write it. I don't write any of the content on Social Media Examiner. All I do is interviews on video, and then everybody else writes all the stuff. Yeah. So you know, you can kind of use any format that works for you: audio, video, writing. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun, and I really love what I'm doing right now. Fantastic! That's brilliant. So before we go, Mike, just one last message: Have you got any advice for people just getting started out there? Yeah, for the person who is maybe, you know, thinking about going out on your own, maybe you're working for the boss, for the man, um, I, I would encourage you, if you get a crazy idea like I did, follow it. We are in an era that is nothing like has ever existed in your lifetime. There is an incredible opportunity for you to leverage free tools like a blog, like Facebook, like Twitter like LinkedIn, and to very, very quickly um, build a consultancy, um, build a publishing site upon which you can build advertising revenue or you know your own business. I just think it's such an incredible opportunity and you have all the tools and they're free. All you need is time. And um, I'm just so impressed to see how many people are um, in that 50 and over crowd that are just taking the bull by the horn and really doing amazing things using social media. So I would encourage you to um, go for it. What have you got to lose? Um, you could even just do it part-time and see if it works for you before you decide to leave whatever you're doing. But I would strongly suggest you. Just finish that last sentence there, Mike, because you just cut oh. out. You strongly suggest I, that you go for it. Is that what you said? Yeah, I strongly suggest right. you give it a shot. Give yeah. it a shot. Fantastic. Wonderful. Mike, I tell you what, I could talk to you for, for hours. I've got so many more. <laughs> I'd love to know where, where you think social media is going, all that kind of stuff. But maybe we'll save that for, for another interview another time. Um, Mike Stelzner, thank you so much for giving us the time today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, no I'll, put, I'll put the link to elevationprinciple.com below this video, guys. So go out and grab the first cha chapter of Mike's book. Um, and uh, just all the very best, Mike, with Social Media Examiner and, and, you know, everything else that you've got planned. Thank you very much. Thanks ever so much, Mike. Take care.